Hello, hello, my scrumptious ravens. Welcome to day 179 of the Fixing My Life series. If you are new here, welcome. Um, the Fixing My Life series, oh, sorry. The Fixing My Life series um, came about 179 days ago when I decided to try and fix my life. I was very sad and disappointed with how my life looked, where I was, so I decided to try and do something about it. So what I did was I, out of all the many things that I wanted and want to change about my life, I created a list of things that I thought were top priority, absolutely integral to my success, such as fixing my sleep schedule, such as fixing my diet, such as incorporating exercise, such as incorporating prayers into my days, things like that. And I decided to track my progress with each of those things every single day. So I do this by creating a vlog and I kind of just run through the list and talk about my day, talk about my thoughts, my struggles, things like that. So that's what this series is about. I feel like a million bucks, guys. Okay, I, okay, let me tell you what I did. I woke up for Sahur, so I am fasting. I did my morning prayer, Fajr. I did my early afternoon prayer, Zohor. And I did my late afternoon prayer, Usr. So I have already done three out of three prayers. I'm on fire. And guess what? It doesn't end there. I also did oh my god that terrified me oh my god oh my god that oh my god looked like a shoulder and an arm oh my goodness gracious my heart i'm tripping um sorry i just watched a horror movie so that's probably what's happening in my head but what i wanted to say is it doesn't end there i also read two verses from the quran so i am set i've already done my quran for the day i'm kind of on fire guys it's 5 39 so there are about two and a half hours till we break our fast so i have two and a half hours to kind of get some work in I have not done any work as of right now. I have pretty much just uh, slept in, watched the movie, played a couple league games. So just a pretty relaxing day so far. Um, what I did want to show you guys though is my toolbox. I bought my first ever very own toolbox. Y'all know, I know, I mean, some of you might know that I love tools. I love working, you know, with my hands and um, I wanted to show it to you. So this is my toolbox. It feels super good quality, heavy duty. It's got all kinds of goodness in here. We've got nozzle, um, uh, needle nose pliers. We've got uh, wrenches. We've got more pliers. We've got this thing, which I think is awesome, a leveler. We've got bits for the screwdriver, uh, which is right here. Um, we've also got a great hammer, we've got a measuring tape, we've got a cutter, an X-Acto knife, and from my dollar store haul, I also bought this. It's like a wrench type of set, screwdriver set. Uh, two for one deal, because it's got these bits and these bits. And I bought the this just in case I didn't get my um, toolbox in time, but I ended up getting my toolbox in time. so. I'll just add this bit set to that set. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know that my goal for today is to fill up this tote with all the things that I don't quite need right now that kind of just need to go into storage um, and work on Echo and get this laundry basket empty and put in the appropriate spot. So that's my goal for today. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hi guys, so I wanted to show you what I'm preparing for iftar. So this is like an old Ramadan tradition. It's called fruit chat, but you know, the Westerners call it a uh, fruit salad. <laughs> and it's basically like an amalgamation of different fruits. So I have a tangerine, two tangerines in here, a banana, an apple, a kiwi, and, oh look, this is my mermaid spoon. I have some honey here. <laughs> It's actually creamed honey, but it was too hard to pour, so I um, melted it, and I'm just waiting for it to cool a little bit, and I'm gonna drizzle it on here. The reason I do this, or I'm doing this for the first time, is that the banana was not ripe, and I know the kiwi, 
is sour. I know the kiwi is sour. So I don't want to have a fruit salad that's not sweet. So, you know, I'm doing what I can. So are you ready? You guys want to do the honors with me? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. Ooh. I also don't want to leave it on for too long to, 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 to cool down. Because if I leave it for cooling down for too long, then it's gonna get hard again. That is what we're trying to prevent. Okay, hopefully I didn't overdo it with the honey and it becomes too sweet, because that's gonna be a little suffocating. So let's see. I mean, I do have, if, I mean, worst case scenario, guys, if that happens, I'll throw in another kiwi. That's the plan. Ooh, guys. Look, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. Also, we used the toolbox for the first time today um, to attach the handle onto the uh, little pot. So we made use of the toolbox for the first time today. My first little pot to use. So that was fun. And then this is my first time creating this little concoction of my own. I can't taste it right now because I'm still fasting. So hopefully it tastes good. You can only hope that it tastes good. Okay, another thing guys that's a tradition during Ramadan is pakora. It's uh, actually, for, what is it? Some basin. kind of flour, some kind basin. of, What's basin? whatever basin is. I don't know if that's the Urdu word that or, Urdu word. <laughs> okay, I don't know what kind of flour it is. Sorry guys, but um, you like make this flour paste thing and then you dip whatever you want in it. It could be potatoes, it could be just the flour itself like this, or it could be a fusion like my mom does with a chili. Now, jalapeno. a jalapeno. This is my first time having it with my brother. I already took one bite and I got destroyed but I wanted to document it with you guys and share the experience with you as well. So here I go. I'm dipping it in a sauce that I made, school me, of ketchup, sriracha, and honey sriracha sauce. Okay, so here we go. The thing is when you first take the bite, it's okay. It's yeah. it's like when it starts hitting you afterwards. This is it. God, I'm scared. Take a big bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. This bite was actually okay. Good. I guess because there were no seeds. I got lucky. Here we go. Oh god, I'm scared. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Breaking the smaller pieces. I'm trying to do it. I'm gonna cheat and take out the. Ooh! Woo! 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 Mm -hmm. I would lose first week these. So Bro! My eyes are watering. Hot ones? I'll make it a two, maybe. Mmm. So good, though. Ugh. Okay, okay. And, I want to tell you guys that my 
chat was a success. It's actually so good. Mm. Hi guys, it's 3.07 a.m. And I am in bed, ready to get some sleep. I was playing some Valorant, so, you know, priorities. Um, quick updates for the day. I did end up praying Isha and Mokrib. So, I'm 5 for 5 today. Alhamdulillah for the prayers. I did end up cleaning up the whole washroom floor, so I mopped the washroom floor. Um, I was supposed to wash, hand wash my bra and underwear, but I got busy with other stuff, so I did not do that. Oh, that's on my top of my to-do list uh, to do tomorrow. Um, Echo got half done the other half i'll have to finish tomorrow that laundry basket that i wanted to empty out i was able to empty it out and i washed it um so that's done what else did i do today i think that's pretty much it i think that's what i got done oh yes so I don't know if I told you guys this, but some of you might remember from my room that I had a tall, a very tall, white bookshelf in my room. Um, and some of you might even remember that I said that I handpicked the wood for it from Home Depot. And then, so I, I, I measured how long I needed the wood and luckily the long wood pieces that were available in Home Depot was were around that same size so I got two panels of that and then I got a third panel that I had measured and gotten them to cut into smaller pieces for shelving for shelves so unfortunately because it was so tall it had to be disassembled when we were leaving the apartment and unfortunately when it got disassembled, it got a little damaged. And the backing that I worked so hard on covering with this beautiful, like, silver and white adhesive paper, like DC Fix, it all got torn up. So, I cannot put the backing onto the shelving unit unless it's fully covered in that DC fix again and like done properly because that's what you see when that shelving unit is against the wall that DC fix is what you see as the backing so I can't put the thing together and then put the DC fix on you know what I'm saying it's got to be the backing has to be completely you know covered up then I can hammer it into with nails into the back of the shelving unit and that DC fix that I need, I got from Dollarama. And that Dollarama DC fix is off limits right now because technically it's considered a non-essential item. And all non-essential items are basically like blocked from being bought in stores. So that whole thing is being held up just because of this stupid, stupid statement at home order. Y'all. And a lot of the stuff that I'm getting out of the remaining boxes are things like things that were stored on that shelving unit. All my art stuff, makeup stuff, mainly art stuff. So everything kind of it, it, it can't be um, put in their home because of this state home order essentially. So what I've done today is I found one of the shelves in the pantry that I wasn't sure what to use it for. So for right now, I'm using it as storage so that I'm able to at least open up the boxes and find a place to put all the stuff that's supposed to go in the white shelving unit and get rid of the white, uh, get rid of the boxes at the same time. So that's an update with the boxes and the situation with the boxes. Um, I also um, found a another pink-ish flower that I set into this flower. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this, can you see that? Oh. This is a flower set that was in my room 
in the other place. It was in a happily ever after gift bag hung on my door. But this time I decided to put it in a candle that I no longer use and stick the uh, flowers in there. I think it looks really pretty. And once I get this table DIY'd, I think it's gonna look fucking scrumptious. So that's my update for today, guys. As always, I'm wishing your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit and your body peace and happiness. Please choose to be kind to yourself and to others. Stay safe, my boo-boos. Stay scrumptious, my no-no's. And inshallah, I will see you all tomorrow or in the next video if I'm healthy and able. I'm gonna try to get some sleep before it is time for Fudger slash Suhoor. Take care, guys, and good night. Waving. Ow.